Ladies and gentlemen, you have just stepped forward to partake in a mission that only men and women of character can embark on. Surely, you are in service for times like this. I have no doubt that you have and continue to serve your nation well. And now it is time to serve within a larger regional assembly, the Samim Force. I am of the conviction that you have prepared and waited eagerly for such a moment. A moment when you will join your contemporaries for our, from our different countries in the region for this noble undertaking. This is the moment. The peace, security, and tranquility of Cabo Delgado is being undermined and trampled upon by the savage terrorists who are killing innocent people and worse still, beheading them. They are kidnapping them and looting their hard-earned belongings and savings. And as, it, as if it is not enough, they burn houses and public infrastructure. It is disheartening to see this destruction. The destruction of property they work so hard for. All these unjustifiable acts ultimately deny the African child peace, security, and the right to life they so deserve. Terrorism is now has now become a painful thorn in our region, specifically here in Gabo Delgado province. We cannot sit back as spectators and allow our communities to be terrorized. We cannot look the other way. It is our moral duty to respond and to respond appropriately. I know I'm addressing the right audience. I'm speaking to the sons and daughters of Africa who are ready to use African resources to solve African problems. I'm talking to individuals who volunteered to restore peace and stability in Cabo Delgado province for the greater good of humanity. Our founding fathers and forefathers, those who came before us, have envisaged undertakings such as this one. They have envisioned a time when, as Africans, we will be able to use African resources to implement African solutions, to solve African problems. We are here to now ascertain those aspirations of those great yesteryear leaders by ensuring that Cabo Delgado province is free from terrorism. I know I'm talking to brave men and women in uniform who responded to a call to come and uproot, degrade, neutralize, and end acts of terrorism in the Cabo Delgado province once and for all. As I stand here, I do so with a lot of confidence that you are here as part of Samim Force with no limits at all, and you will prevail. You are further reminded that Samim is a multinational force mandated by SADC in support of Fadam as the host. Therefore, you will be engaged and exposed to combined joint operations and interagency activities. All stakeholders involved will be aiming for the same objective as a collective force. We are here to degrade terrorist activities without remorse. We are here to give protection to our people without fear or favor. As we do so, let us stay focused and take heed of the ways said by one <coughs> military theorist who once said, I quote, we repeat again, 
strength of character does not consist solely in having powerful feelings, but in maintaining one's balance in spite of them. Even with the violence of emotion, judgment, judgment and principle must still function like a ship's compass, which requires the slightest variation, however rough the seas may be. Close quote. With those few remarks, ladies and gentlemen, allow me once again to convey my sincere gratitude and wish you a very hearty welcome to Samim Mission Area. Take note that Cabo Delgado is currently experiencing elevated uh, threat levels. You must therefore hit the ground running as your mission starts now. Uh, stay vigilant, stay safe, and ultimately prevail. Monte Obrigado. Thank you for your attention and may God bless you.